Hey, what's going on friends and family? Welcome back to another episode of BKO Reviews. And today, man, we have an exclusive unboxing for you guys. This was something that no one seen coming. Um, I heard rumors uh, earlier in the day to stay tuned, but I really wasn't too sure of exactly what was gonna be released. Uh, but before all that being said, I definitely want to encourage everyone to hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed the video and if you enjoyed the content. And also, please show your love and support by hitting that subscribe button that's in the lower right hand corner. With no further ado, let's get into the review. Well, as I said earlier, this was something that caught me by surprise. So let's check it out. As you can see, I'm not sure if the camera's focusing, but there you go. This was something that I picked up from uh, Dover Street Market. Um, you know, I, I just received notification that it was available, so I went to check out. So let's see what we got in the white box. If you follow me on social media, you might have an idea because I posted the email confirmation. Uh, so let's see okay i love the way they wrap their products it's very nice of course you have the receipt right here block out my personal information for the receipt police definitely love the bubble wrap oh, it's a pretty heavy box to be honest with you guys Voila. As you can see, we have the Jordan. I think the last time we seen this box was like the Jordan 10s, if I'm not mistaken. Well, you have the old school retro uh, box of the Air Jordans. You have your Jordan logo on the top. And you have your light gray at the bottom of it. So let's check it out. Today, we're doing a review on a pair of Air Jordan 8 Retro SE. And the style code is BQ76661000. And the actual color scheme is white, black, red, orbit. As you can see, suggested retail was $225 on it. Nothing under the lid. Okay. right here are definitely nice uh like i said earlier guys this was a exclusive drop on dover street market um early in the day i received notification to stay tuned i thought it was going to be an actual jordan one release or something like that i wasn't too sure exactly what it was uh, but once i received the notification i went to checkout and i checked out relatively easy i want to say they were available wanted to say they was available for roughly around 20 minutes uh, before I started to see that my size and other common sizes were selling out. So I was very happy that I was able to pull a trigger on this. Uh, if you're not familiar with this sneaker, this is the Air Jordan 8 SP Special Project uh, SE. I'm not sure what SE stands for in Dover Street Market. As you can see, first off the back, it is your standard Jordan 8, but I have to be honest with you guys, the quality and the material on here is very nice. First off, the most noticeable thing that you see is the clear pull straps here. I want you to check this out. As you can see, the pull straps are translucent and it is rubber, both of them. So you have a pink one and then you have a blue one. You do have your 23 branding on the pink, as you can see. 
it is standard with your normal Jordan 8. You have this, oh, wow, okay. So you have some real nice suede here on the upper. Very nice. Then you have very soft textured leather here, especially along the ankle area right here. And it goes down uh, to the mid, the side panels. As we go down, you have more hits of different colors. You have your yellow, as you can see. And then you also have white with a light gray here on your midsole. As we go to the toe box, this is where I said earlier, the materials here is very nice. Want this to focus, you have like this real soft tumble leather here on the toe box. There you go. And then you have that same suede here uh, along the beginning area of the laces. You have your standard laces, black laces with your nylon tongue. And then you have your brand in here that is on your standard Jordan 8s, but you can see the colors consist uh, with the color scheme of this sneaker. As we go to the lateral side, it's pretty much the same makeup. You get to see the translucent uh, straps a lot better. And what I'm noticing here, you can actually see the stitching underneath it. It's pretty cool. Kind of like that Frankenstein stitching. As we go to the back heel, you have that suede on the back of the heel. And you also have your pull tab here with your sock lining as well. Uh, nothing on the back of the tongue, but you do have your size tag here on the inner of the sneaker. Want to see if that focus right there. And as you can see, it does have a QR code. Uh, let me see if the insole is different. It appears that the insole isn't. It's a solid black insole with your white Jordan Jumpman logo on it. That kind of sucks. It would have been nice if they would have did the color scheme on the insole. But the outsole pretty much is exactly how we expected it to be. You have the same pink, yellow, light blue. You have your black here in the forefront of the sneaker with your white Jordan Jumpman logo there. Very nice. Uh, like I said earlier, guys, this was a, an exclusive uh, with Dover Street Market. Um, I really was surprised that it released. But the way God worked in mysterious ways, I also was able to purchase a hoodie which I think kind of goes with it. This was a hoodie that I purchased a while ago. I think like maybe a week ago. You know, nothing is good without for the receipt police. And I was able to use my discount on this hoodie. So I actually only spent 50 bucks on it. And now that I look at the hoodie, it matches it. This is the Air Jordan DNA hoodie. And as you can see, the color branding on it is pretty similar to the actual sneaker. Red, uh, yellow, purple. And these colors represent the actual teams uh, that the Chicago Bulls beat. You know, the Lakers, the Phoenix Suns, uh, Portland Trailblazer. Um, it does have little metal agulates here on the drawstring. I think the sides, here's, here's the actual size label. As you can see, it was 55, I had a discount. And the pretty cool thing that I like about this hoodie was it had the 23 here on the forearm, as you can see. Represents the team colors that they beat, the Lakers. I think this was the Blazers, if I'm not mistaken. Phoenix Suns, pretty cool. This sweater also comes in uh, different colors. It comes in yellow black and gray if i'm not mistaken and they also have sweatpants for it uh definitely want to thank everyone once again for tuning in to another video of bk reviews uh like i said earlier guys if you enjoyed this video and you enjoyed the content only thing that i ask of you is to hit that thumbs up button it surely goes a long way and also please show your love and support by hitting that subscribe button that's in the lower right hand corner uh you can also follow me on these social media platforms and once again, with all that being said, I definitely want to thank everyone once again for tuning in to another video of BKL Reviews.